Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a comparison with the Glock 43X versus the Glock 26. Both subcompact 9mm made by Glock and it's interesting because this was always Glock's baby in the subcompact form but when the 43 came out and the 43X that holds 10 rounds it kind of put Glock in competition with itself. Barrel length approximately the same, 3.41 inches, 3.43 inches, so no great difference there. Both hold 10 rounds, but you can see the, the grip is wider, fatter, and then a little bit longer with the 43X. Let's start with the 43X. When it came out, many people said, why do I need that? I've got the 26, but it's thinner. It carries a little lighter because it's two and a half ounces lighter, fully loaded with 10 rounds. And I know that this um, has aftermarket support with shield arms that now makes 15 round mags. However, this can take 15 round mags, 17 round mags, 33 round mags. So a little bit of an advantage here. But this has the front serrations. You know, it's got a nice feel. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter, and people like that. I like that with the 43X, and it has essentially the same trigger pull. Same Glock sights, all right? Both of them, they have not been changed out, but 10 round magazines standard. And you're looking at, you know, in the mid 400s. So the, the 26 is still. Uh, around five and a quarter to 550 so a little bit less expensive here it does have a black slide that is available now many people go with that this was an early release but enough yapping let's go ahead and take a few shots with the glock 43x all right so there it is. Many people said, why do I need that? But yet they were flying off of the shelves and I think they still are to this day. But now we have the Glock 26. I've always considered this my favorite Glock because it carries well and it can accept the magazines as I already mentioned from the larger nine millimeter Glocks. Uh, 10 rounds, all right? Already mentioned, you know, it can accept much more, but it's it's wide, but it still has that nice feel, that blocky Glock feel that we've all become accustomed to. Now, whether you like that or whether you don't, that's what you get here. But it's a little bit smaller, you know, and it's got that 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 firm feel to me that is just hitting home when I consider Glocks. Uh, same five and a half to six pound trigger pull and a overall nice package let me go ahead and take a few shots and we'll get your thoughts a little bit heavier I already mentioned two and a half ounces heavier with the 26. love it so the question is, if you could just have one, which would it be? Would it be the 43X or the 26? I kind of gave it away after I shot this. I said, love it, and I do. I've always loved this. I've owned the Glock 27 and 40. I don't have that anymore. I wish I still had that, actually, once I owned three at the same time. But love the 26, love the 43X. Um, what's your choice? What would you take? I'm taking the 26. I just think that it offers more. Um, not by a lot though, because this is a strong competitor. It's a fine handgun and I really do enjoy it. I like the front serrations. I actually like that PVD coated slide. I think it's cool. A lot of people don't, but I'm taking the 26. What is your flavor? And uh, I'll be interested to know. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. 
Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.